Bad news. Former Homestead and Purdue basketball standout, Caleb Swanigan, has died at the age of 25. The Allen County Coroner's Office said he died of natural causes. Swanigan was born in Indianapolis and went to Homestead High School in Fort Wayne. He won Indiana's Mr. Basketball in 2015, the same year he helped lead Homestead basketball to their first-ever state title. Swanigan played two seasons at Purdue from 2015 to 17 before being drafted in the first round of the NBA draft by the Portland Trailblazers. Our thoughts and prayers to Caleb Swanigan's family and friends. The world lost a gentle soul last night, the Purdue men's basketball Twitter account posted on Tuesday morning. Caleb Swanigan was just 13 years old when former Purdue football player Roosevelt Barnes, at the behest of Caleb's older brother, took him under his wing, ultimately adopting him, and bringing him to live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Barnes understood what it took to excel both on the field and off and hoped to instill that drive in young Caleb. Unlike his adopted father though football was not the game for Swanigan. No, his game was basketball. Despite being 300 plus pounds there was something to his game. Something that Barnes saw that he believed could change Swanigan's life. You heard about the arrest, you saw the mugshot that showed the tremendous weight gain and you wished it wasn't true. Unfortunately though, it was all true. Caleb Swanigan, the young man who fought so hard and sacrificed so much in order to find stability away from a life of drugs and overeating had found himself in the position that many had long feared was his destiny. With a father who weighed over 500 pounds, who used drugs, and had diabetes there must have been a dark shadow plaguing him his whole life. For a number of years he had outrun it, he'd risen above the challenges of his upbringing to become what most of us could only dream of. He was an NBA player, he was an All-American, he had his jersey retired at a major university. Sadly, it wasn't enough. Addiction has been the scourge of this country for many years. It's taken many lives far too young with no end in sight. Invariably when these things happen questions come up about why someone would do this to themselves, what hurt were they trying to forget, what pain were they trying to numb. It's apparent that in Caleb Swanigan's life there was much to try and forget, much pain to numb, and a family history to try and outrun. History has shown us that even the fastest runners lose a step and even the best amongst us can struggle. For Caleb Swanigan the race is over. News broke early this morning that he had passed away at age 25. Details are still emerging but initial reports show a death of natural causes. It's tragic no matter the cause. His teammates from his time at Purdue began tweeting about it this morning. The young man who overcame so much and put it all out on the floor each and every night was gone. Caleb Swanigan's life was a great story with so many highs. Following his arrest I had hoped for Swanigan to do what he did best, to rebound once more. To see the next move and go up and grab it. That wasn't to be. Now, the life that had all the hallmarks of an uplifting tale ends not with cheers but with tears. Rest in peace, Caleb.